What's up? I have a ton of Lush empties for you today. Whew. I'm about to go to the Lush store in a little while and return five of these to get a free fresh, fresh face mask. So I thought before I return them, I should show you guys all the things that I have empty so that um, I can give a little bit of a review on them. Um, these things have been featured in past like empties videos, but I figured not everybody watches those, especially people who are just interested in Lush. So why not just do a full Lush empties of all of my black pots. I haven't kept um, anything other than stuff that's in the big black pots, but in, fu in the future I will start to keep like all of them, like the shower gels and stuff like that, so that I can just talk about them in one big like Lush empties video. Okay, let's get started. Um, my first empty is Shuen Wen Hua, and this is a hair treatment or like a um, hair mask kind of. And it, well, I mean, it's all cleaned out because you have to clean them out to return them to the store. But it is so amazing smelling. It smells like pumpkin pie and it's really really good and basically for me since most of the damage of my hair is um, on the ends where it's been color treated um, and like really I used to have really short like Miley Cyrus um, like uh, bleach out to like like a 10 or whatever like bleached out to like practically white hair um, and so the ends of my hair are so fried, so I put this pretty much from where I would make a ponytail down and um, leave it on, I can't remember, 20 minutes before you shower. So this is like while your hair is dry, so it feels kind of weird, um, but then you leave it on for 20 minutes. I would do it in the bath, um, like while I was in the bath, like I would, like towards the end of my bath, because I take really long baths, I would um, like put it on so that afterwards I could like wash it off and then... Um, your hair feels amazing. It's got bay leaf, um, eggs, <laughs> um, bananas, avocado, um, olive oil, all sorts of good stuff and like a bunch of like cinnamon and stuff to make it smell like pumpkin pie. Um, and it is just really, really good. I would really recommend this to people. It's kind of expensive, but if you um, like kind of figure out how it works for your hair, you can use less. The first time I went to Lush, the girl said that you were supposed to use this whole thing in one go, and it was like a $30 pot of stuff, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I think I, I, I would get about like five uses out of this. So, yeah, that's a Xuan Wen Hua. It's kind of hard to say. The next thing I have is D Fluff Strawberry Shaving Soap. This stuff smelt so good. You can't see it because I washed the pots, but it was just this very light pink sort of like marshmallow fluff looking stuff and um, it smells like strawberries and you use it on your legs. Personally, this isn't like my absolute favorite shaving gel or shaving foam or whatever because it really, really gunks up my razor and I have to use really hot water um, to get all that gunk out and um, I have to like rinse it out a lot and I'm just like too lazy for that. So I'm probably not going to buy this one again, although it smells really, really, really good. And it's really good if you have sensitive skin. Um, it's got tons of different like oils and stuff in it. The next thing I have is the Mask of Magnum Inti. This is a face and body mask. It is normally like green and it has like black little like specks in it and it kind of smells like mint chocolate. And it smells so good. It still smells like it. So, so good. This is probably like the best smelling thing that like comes in a pot for your like face and stuff <laughs> uh, but it is like god it's full of mint so it makes your face kind of tingle and it feels so cool and you leave it on your face until it gets like a little bit harder and then um like five or ten minutes really and then you as you're uh, rubbing it off those little black like um, pieces also scrub your face so it's like a two-in-one it's like a scrub and a mask and you can use this on your body too um, if you have like body acne like some people get acne on their chest or their back or something you can use it on there too because this is really good to fight against like pimples and stuff like that so 
this is just a really good product. This size for me was too much though. I couldn't use it up before it expired and I still had about a fourth of it left um, when it expired which is kind of sad. So next time I'm going to be buying the, the next size down which I'm pretty sure is about this size um, because this was just too much and I couldn't finish it in time. Okay, the next product is something that Scott uses and this is the Dirty Styling Cream. Um, this, he has it kind of like the, I don't know, like trendy guy hairstyle right now. It's really short on the sides and it's all like up in the front and the, you know, like down this area. I don't know what you would call that. It's like old like Zane from One Direction hair. Um, oh my god, this is stuck clothes. I don't think he washed this out. Anyways, <laughs> this stuff is like a white cream and he says that it holds your hair. Um, it says take a dab and run it through hair for a firm matte hold. That's what he really likes because it isn't shiny. So he really likes this product because it's not like, it doesn't leave it looking like he has like gel or something in his hair. It kind of just looks um, just like effortless like his hair just, he woke up and it looks like that. So, and it smells really good, but I can't get it open to smell it. But, yeah, that is the Dirty Styling Cream. It, it was also in my husband's favorite Lush Products video that I did, um, and I will put a link to that so that you guys can watch that if you didn't see my husband's favorite Lush Products. Um, this is another one that was in my husband's favorite Lush Products. This is the Rub 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 Shower Scrub. This smells so good. Oh, I didn't wash this one out. It needs to be washed out before I go. Um... It's just got this really, like, citrusy, um, amazing smell, um, and it says rub yourself the right way, uh, with heaps of fresh sea salt, delicate mimosa, and exotic orange blossom. So it's got, like, that oranginess, um, mm, and saltiness smell, kind of, like, almost smells like a, like a cocktail. Um, it says if you want a gentle scrub, use it on a shower sponge under running water like a shower gel. That was kind of like the really cool thing about this is that it does kind of like suds up at the same time as scrubbing you. So it's a two-in-one product really. You can use it to um, scrub and you can use it as a shower gel. I think that's what my husband liked about it. He just, he likes um, body scrubs anyway and he really liked this one so we will it's kind of expensive so we have some other scrubs that we need to work through and then we will pro we will definitely repurchase this in the future this is something that you actually get for returning these pots this is the last time I returned it a couple weeks ago um, I got this one this is the cupcake fresh face mask these face masks mask masks are so cool because they um, are made out of like really really fresh ingredients that's why they're called fresh face masks and you have to keep them in the fridge and they only last for a little like a short amount of time so it's kind of like something like that's really homemade like really fresh you know it's something that's you know you can see the exact date that they made it and know exactly when it's um, used up this one is the cupcake Ooh, dropped it oh my gosh It went so far under my TV stand just now when I dropped it. Anyways, this one is the cupcake, and it is a dark brown. It looks just like chocolate cupcake batter, batter or brownie batter, and it smells kind of like that with a hint of mintiness. Um, yeah, and it is so good, again, for, um, like, oily skin. It's supposed to, like, kind of take out, of the, take out the oil and um, help with... Uh, like pimples and spots. It's got it's made out of Rizul mud, so it's a mud mask. It's got cocoa powder, cocoa butter, mint, um, sandalwood oil, uh, vanilla absolute, spearmint, peppermint oil, and yeah, those things are all really good for your skin. And so if you are somebody who has oily skin or spot prone skin, Cupcake is a really great fresh face mask face mask for you to try. <laughs> okay, the last one is Celebrate Hand and Body Lotion. This is a Christmas time exclusive and I got it in a gift set. Um, and it smells so good. Like if you know what the Golden Wonder bath bomb smells like, it smells like that. But if you don't know what it smells like, to me, it smells like Skittles. Like if you put like all the different colors of Skittles in your mouth, like if that like smell, um, that's what it smells like to me. But they say it's like a um, champagne uh, citrus scent. And oh my God, is this good? It is so oily though. So if you um, are like not a fan of something that leaves a lot of oil on your skin, this one probably isn't your best bet. But it smells so good. Like you have to get past that and just try it. Um, it's made out of almond oil. Is the first ingredient. Cocoa butter's in there. 
um, orange, Brazilian orange oil, cognac oil, lime oil, orange flower absolute, um, all different like fragrances and stuff. But yeah, this, I have one more of these until I'm all out, and then I have to wait for Christmas to come around to get another one. But yeah, this is just so, so great. Next Christmas, you guys have to try one of these. Um, but yeah. Okay guys, these are my Lush empties. I'm so excited to go turn it in and get a fresh face mask. I haven't decided what I want. I think I want the Don't Look At Me face mask because it's like bright blue and it's like just sounds fun and I haven't tried it yet. But of course I'm going to buy other stuff while I'm at the Lush store so be sure to stay tuned for that haul. It should be up sometime this week. Um, and it's actually a very interesting haul because I'm challenging myself to only spend $40 at Lush and see all the different things that I can get. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if any of these, like, you've tried or if you, like, have a different suggestion, especially if you know a different shaving gel or shaving cream, I mean, from Lush that you like. <clears throat> I would love to know that because this defluff one is the only one I've ever had a full, um, thing of, I think. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!